here. Yeah, super nice. What's up everybody? Today is day seven, I think. I, we've already lost track of time, how long I've been here. But it's gonna be a day off. Maybe no car stuff for the daytime. And then we're gonna have a little barbecue here at the haunted park. <laughs> it's very nice out here. But yeah, barbecue with friends. Yasu bought some good meat. Yeah. The barbecue of four people, maybe? No, five people. Oh, five people now? Everybody, <laughs> over, everybody overslept. But yeah, let's see how today goes. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Wait, good morning. not go afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> normal, normal life in Japan. It's springtime. Oh. Guy's gonna drink the fish. How's it taste? Oh, oishi, oishi. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes good. Good morning. Today is Monday, and we are filming inside the hole of the CTR. <laughs> We're gonna walk Ayala to take care of some business stuff. And then we're gonna eat some seafood. I don't know what else. We've never been there before. But we also said a super countryside. So it should be interesting. We're in a CTR. The suspension is very bouncy and it's raining. So it's <laughs> Stock CTR. Yeah. Nardi wheel. Full interior. Spoon muffler. It's kind of loud. Yeah, yeah. Super low miles. Super low miles? Yeah. How many? Uh, 83. Oh shit. But bad wipers. Yeah. <laughs> bad, ti bad tires. Yeah, bad tires. <laughs> I don't know. Bad brake, bad axle, yeah. Bad axle. <laughs> As you said, this is a famous photo spot. So, we're gonna stare at it before I go pee. <laughs> oh, wow. So nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's like a a lake there. Oh yeah, it's nice. Downtown Wakayama. <laughs> this is uptown Wakayama. <laughs> Everything's really yellow here. Very strange. Yeah, Wakayama special. <laughs> yeah, the top of the plants are all yellow. Very interesting. No plant expert, so I don't know, but it's very yellow. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. 
First time here. I'm gonna pee. Very local lunch here in Wakayama. Tuna bowl. Yeah. Butter scallop. Got a charashi bowl. Yeah. Some, some Japanese people over there. Yeah, some locals. Very nice local people. Yeah, very drunk. Yeah. So there's nothing to look at in Wakayama, but here's the one tuning shop that they have here. It's high spec. They're not here right now because they went out to lunch or something. But it, yeah, just I call now. Oh, oh Yasu's calling. <laughs> See if anyone's here because Yasu actually knows the guy. But yeah. Kind of, kind of a wild scene here. Legendary. Any car parts? Uh, FD. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we called and and the guy is coming back now. We don't know where he went. <laughs> <laughs> he says he's over from 10 to 8, but it's like 3 o'clock and no one's here. <laughs> Maybe he went to lunch or something. Who knows? Yeah, too late. Yeah. I wonder what's inside. Uh, I think he works in uh, DC Club store. Oh, really? Yeah, he built a oh, DC Club. Oh, the building? The three levels? Oh, really? I first time come here. This one is Monja. Yeah, Tokyo style Okonomiyaki. Looks super close. <laughs> so you eat it with this little shovel thing, the spatula. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <they buy> <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. It just tastes good. Yeah, it just looked like somebody dropped it on the floor. <laughs> That bumper looks familiar to you. That's because it belongs to this Integra. Which you guys are probably familiar with. This is Mikey's old car. The old Phase 2 Integra. Yasu owns the car. He owned it, sold it to a friend, and then bought it back. So now we're in the process of, well, they're in the process since somebody on YouTube complained that I said we, but. They're, they are in the process of cleaning the car up and getting it ready for the Stance Nation Japan event this weekend. So Yasu decided to bring this car and he wanted to clean it up, fix some stuff on it, the engine bays, seen better days. But they've done a good job of clearing everything and cleaning it up, cleaning up all the rust, surface rust and stuff. Just needs wheels and little things here and there. Yep, normal work day here in Osaka. <laughs> what? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. 
So the air suspension system needs some work now too. Broke it? Yeah, a little bit. It's okay. Oh, sure. No. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Yasuo has been busy chipping away at all the old body filler on David's coupe that he also now owns. And, uh,. Seeing where all the cracks in the in the metal work and yes, all the wear and tear over the years and also some of the mistakes from the previous body shop. But yeah, he's been heating the old body filler up and then scraping it off the car and making it smooth again. Yeah, it's interesting that we're all the way in Osaka and they're working on David's car and Mikey's old Integra. Ooh, this Honda step wagon. Looks like a Type R. Got a full Mugen kit. DC5R wheels. It's fully painted champ white too. And has a Mugen wing. That was super cool. Like an older guy was driving it. We pulled up because we were going to an up garage just to see what this one has. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yes, XV. I like that wheel. Just one wheel? $300 still? Two? Oh, okay. Ooh, there it is. E100? Yeah. 19 inch? No. Yeah. No. 19 by yeah. a nine and a half in the first city. Eight. Yeah. Nine half. Yeah, that's super old. The T right here. Huh? 15 by 6. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah. Oh, good tire. That's a newer TV, too. Yeah. Is it real? Uh, oh, yeah, it's real. Yeah. Uh, 15 oh. by 6? <laughs> 15. Hmm. Ooh, type R wheels. Yeah, this is a big one. This is a cool wheel, but the sizing is really bad. Oh, yeah. MCO wheels. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, so many emotion. Yeah, very poker here. Mirrors and stuff. Yeah. Oh. So cheap. Mm -hmm. uh, seat rails. Oh, uh, the DC5 one. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's cheap. Yeah, $90. Mm -hmm. Oh, twenty dollars in the back. <laughs> yeah. No problem. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh cool. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 
Oh, floor mats. <laughs> have Dura's light bulb here. <laughs> What is this? Oh, oh, for behind the bed? Wow. So oh, cool. Yeah, turn it off. Really? Yeah. Huh. Is it universal? Uh, no. ODB2. Huh? ODB2. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. Really? For Corolla. Oh. It was a super old box, too. Yeah. For 2TG. 600 bucks, though. Yeah. Cost oh, discount. Oh, really? 300 now. Because <laughs> it's been here so long? Yeah. Buy it. <laughs> what am I gonna use it for? A six sixty blitz. Cool. Brake pad. What is this for? Super. Oh, A ninety. Yeah. Oh wow. Maybe they didn't like it, huh? Thirty bucks. Yeah. Super dirty. These are maybe brand new. Oh. Yeah. Maybe you bought it and didn't like it, huh? <laughs> seats? Oh wow. They have up garage seats. Up garage has their own seats. Team up garage? Yeah. Uh, your seat right here. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. This one. Oh. It's okay. Oh. Oh, this one now. <laughs> this one's thirty bucks. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. Yeah, maybe somebody died in that one. Yeah. Oh, you rooster. <clears throat> the passenger seat that I have is like this also. It's low here. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there's another SR7. That sounds good. Mm-hmm. 700. Well, if you guys ever wondered what a Japanese KFC looks like, here's a really great example of one. Got a drive through window and everything. Hmm. <laughs> Got the kernel right there. Menu's different too. I mean, it's all it's a little much, a little similar, but a lot different. I guess you can see. Hmm. Random, but yeah, I like looking at Japanese buildings. So I said I wasn't gonna eat here, but now we're eating here because we were supposed to do paperwork at some place, but they don't open till 1 p.m. <laughs> this is a tiny apple pie, chicken sandwich. Chicken strip and then uh, another chicken thing because they don't have fries here because there's a potato <laughs> shortage in Japan since they get all their fries from the US. Yeah, so they just give you more chicken. Well, it's raining and uh, good afternoon. Welcome back to the Chronicles on YouTube. It's coming down a little bit this week. But today we are at Aslan to check out some of the fastest Hondas in Osaka, I guess you can say. It's been a while since I've been here. Last time I was here, I think 
it was only like a brief visit. It's gonna be a brief one today too, just because I don't want to get in the way of people working and stuff. And uh, last time it was pretty dark. So this time all the lights are on. Uh, there's more stuff. There's some new stuff to see and some very traditional Osaka style Hondas race cars. So enjoy. It's a Honda Fit race car. It's like a one make race car. Fully caged up. Can't open the door. It's kind of a tight fit here. The EG. And this is the car that everyone knows Aslan for. This is the race car right here. I guess you can say this is their demo car. One of the fastest case swapped Civics in all of Japan. You can see how much chassis modifications have been made. They're crazy. The Quave Trans right here. Quave Sequential Transmission. Full flat bottom end. Ooh. Huge splitter. Pretty crazy. I like the side skirt thing here too. Actually a functional side skirt. But yeah, huge wide fenders on this one. Oh. It's a Honda City race car. This is really sick. It's cool to see these cars modified. <laughs> the craft square mirrors look huge. Sorry if it gets kind of shaky, it's dark in here, so as with most Osaka shops. Here's the back end. I've shown this car plenty of times on the channel, so if you guys want to see this thing in detail, just look at some of my previous videos from Attack and various uh, Time Attack events I covered. Huge rear diffuser. But yeah, here's the Honda City. Got tiny CEs on the back. Fully gutted, flex in glass. I wonder if I can open it. Is it open? Oh yeah. Single seat, steering wheel, custom dash. No cage on this one, just gutted. Definitely built for the weight, lightweight. What is? 15 inch T37 Sonic. But yeah, look how big this craft square mirror looks on here. CG super nice too. The customer's car it looks like. The full livery on it. Inky RPF1s. Full cage. stuff. This is their current project. This is a fully caged CRX. Probably gonna turn into a race car. Look at the cage work. And thing's been stitch welded, sealed, gonna be repainted of course. Oh, no roof yet. Yeah, but this car's gonna look super nice when it's all done. I think they're gonna case swap it. EG is pretty interesting. Center exit exhaust is staying true to the Osaka style. So pretty big space here. 
I'm sure he's been here for a long time too. The DC-5. And this is his new NSX. His new toy. The Euro R. And the CL7 Euro R. It's fender flares on it. I don't know what they're doing to it, but some suspension stuff. You can see the rear wing. B series engine here. This year actually has no motor in it, so we're probably doing a swap or something. Cool to see these cars though, especially as race cars. Just tires everywhere. Over here is the workshop. The engine room. Lots of metal there. It's an ITR here. Super traditional Integra build here. Race car. I think this is from their tri box days. But I don't, don't know when the last time they raced this car is. But every time I come here, it sits here. Huge front spitter, wide fender, it's like an 18 inch, yeah, 18 inch TE, custom rear quarters, big GT wing, carbon replacement for the glass. This thing also has a full cage too. Sick. Super old school looking. Look at display. And a Momo wheel, fuel cell next to the driver. Full cage. A car with seat. Replacement door panels. So cool. Race cars of yesteryear. More workshop space here. Just tools and parts everywhere. K8 here also. Yeah, just a quick look at Aslan. Sorry if it sounds a little quiet and you can't, can't hear me. I'll try to bump up the volume, but I don't want to talk too loudly because they're speaking in the background and I don't want to be rude. But look at this thing. It's crazy. Every time I see this thing, I find myself studying it just because there's so much work done to this car. It's insane. Maybe I wish it was lowered so you guys could see the engine, but I've shown you guys plenty of times before, so I shouldn't be that surprised, I guess. Anybody that's watching this channel by now has probably seen this car plenty of times. But yeah, it's a... Uh, it's a fucking crazy car, dude. <laughs> Trying not to get my head chopped off by the splitter. There's an old Quint Integra here. I wonder why it's here. Or if it's a daily or something. But 
don't see very many quints anymore. It's an EP3 race car. Kind of looks like an old buddy club car to be honest. It has Wes wheels on it, T's in the back. It's got a Temple Racing livery now, but the graphic scheme looks very buddy clubish. Yeah, they race everything out here. And there's no shortage of love for the EP3. They're still not that popular, but you definitely see a lot more of them here than you do in the US. Another EK9. And yeah, that's Oslo. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the look at Aslan. Got a couple other shops to visit today. See who's open and who's not, just because it's raining. And like Yasu, when it rains, it's kind of hard to work outside, so they don't get a whole lot of stuff done if there's no space inside to work on stuff. But yep, hope you guys enjoyed Aslan. Thank you to Aslan for letting me walk around and do whatever I want. <laughs> so it's always kind of cool. I get free access to look at cars and open doors and and kind of just go through their work, you know? Like, I feel like a lot of people would probably be uncomfortable with it, but people in Japan are pretty open about it as long as you're like, you know, upfront and like respectful and don't show the things that they ask you not to show. But yeah, other than that, that's Aslan. How much is it new? New? Don't know. <laughs> you can't get it anymore, huh? Yeah. 300 bucks? Yeah, not bad. No. Are you gonna buy it? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, buy it. Where are you gonna put it? Uh, trunk. Smash <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Probably fit. Yeah, fit. Yeah, big ass trunk. Yeah, yeah. of course, fit. If you know, that roof. Yeah. <laughs> That's a box it. You can't ship it. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, brake kit. Mm -hmm. The hell is that? Noshin? What brand is that? Yeah, bigger than Nissan. Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so we just found some Airwalker EK9 side skirts, which are super rare, and they're just sitting here at this up garage. And it used to be on a race car, you can tell, because it has graphics and everything. Yeah, I thought it looked familiar. I thought it looked like an Integra side screw, but it's definitely EK9 Airwalker. Wow, cool. Okay. Have the rear bumper? Uh, <laughs> maybe no. So, we just walked into this up garage just to look at stuff, and now he was gonna buy a ATL fuel cell for his car, and we were gonna buy these Airwalker side skirts. The problem now is, how do we fit this in the M6? Oh yeah, easy. You just pick me up later. Oh yeah, perfect. If we drove the GR86 today, it wouldn't have fit, so. And we also have an ATL fuel cell to put in here, so. Oh yeah, I just put it on my legs. It's fine. Yeah, it's okay. Just put my backpack in the back. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Oh yeah, coming. Oh.
guy's like, what the fuck are these guys doing? Perfect. <laughs> See? Fit. Yeah, perfect. Good. Yeah. <laughs> See? I knew we came to Sakai for a reason today. Yeah. 600. <laughs> <laughs> He uses M6 for everything. Yeah. This is a nice car. Mm -hmm. fit. Yeah. <laughs> you put an ATL fuel cell in the trunk yeah. and then an air walker EK9 <laughs> size skirts inside. Yeah.